Rose! Andrew, you backup ska singer. Andrew was a nationally ranked Magic the Gathering player. That means in the world, he was in the top 200 of people not getting laid. <laughs> oh man, give it up for Daryl Cro Cochran, everybody. He, uh, he sucks at being a black person. Like, <laughs> he, he stopped getting invited to the cookout because he kept calling it a potluck. <laughs> became a professional poker player, but he had the same issue he had playing poker as he did when he saw a pair of tits, and just didn't know when to hold them. Uh, Daryl, Daryl's a weird guy, man. He's like, he's a black man who listens to rap, but seems like he would still look both ways before saying the N-word. <laughs> like, he said he's a fan of Drake, and that makes sense, because Drake started from the bottom, but Daryl is a bottom. <laughs> Whatever, nigga. Uh, <laughs> I can say it. Say it, say it. I'm okay. I think we can be fine. Yeah. I think we're all right. Once again, I'm fine. Been to the cookout. That's what I'm saying. Andrew was a pro wrestling fan in his preteens. His dad was not around. It was the only place where he could see two men hug. No rebuttal, that's just a good joke. Uh, Daryl feels like a Wisconsin comedy diversity hire. Like, we had a bunch of white guys in flannels, and we're just like, you can give us another one, but you're gonna have to blur it a little. Okay. All right. Let me count the clubs I've been in, my guy. <laughs> uh, Andrew works for an apartment agency. He sells apartments like he chooses sex partners. Whites only. <laughs> Uh, Daryl. Daryl is a big, uh, big Pokemon fan. His, uh, his favorite Pokemon is Eevee because he also didn't know what color he was gonna be when he grew up. <laughs> Haven't gotten my stone yet. I'm just, uh, just chilling right now. Uh, Andrew was in a punk rock band. Instead of rage, instead of raging against it, his band would more likely agree with the machine. Some of their smash hits are songs, Your Dad Kinda Has a Point, and don't date someone hot, date someone safe. Oh man, if it was, uh, if it was the 90s, Daryl could have been an NWA, but only if it stood for No Women Allowed. <laughs> or National Weeaboo Association. <laughs> All right, not bad, not bad. Andrew's dirty talk is telling a woman a bedtime story. <laughs> Daryl is an anxiety-riddled, self-loathing weeaboo. He, uh, he looks like he'd get cuckolded by his own waifu pillow. You went too deep, homie. No one knows what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Andrew was a power lifter till he hurt his back. Now he's just a power bottom. <laughs> then he hurt himself again, and now he's just a bottom. <laughs> Daryl got banned from Bumble for listing his only interest as hentai. <laughs> He does look like he'd be into tentacle porn, but only because it, he fantasizes about getting good hugs. Oh, okay. <laughs> Andrew looks like he'd get friend zoned by Siri. No. Speaking of the friend zone, you're the only person I've ever met who feels like you would own a condo in the friend zone. <laughs> That's property, baby. <laughs> Last joke. Is that it? That was my last that joke. Was last joke. Right. That was the uh, last joke? That was the last joke? Give it up for them, everybody. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Keep it going for them, everybody. Starting off the fucking show. Let's start it off with Daryl. What did you think of the battle, everybody? I thought Andrew started off very strong, tailed off a little bit. Uh, I like that I'm the blackest Daryl up here. Thank you. Uh, that's kind of cool. Thank you. <laughs> I think I, think I gotta, gotta go with Andrew. I think he was more confident. His joke started off hot. Could have finished stronger, but hell yeah. Andrew, go Give it up for the hot, poorly ending Andrew. One vote for him. <laughs> Sasha. Hello, everyone. Hey, let's just talk about this for a second. Look at these two men. This is like we had a blacker, nerdy guy, and then they printed out two copies, and the printer ran out of ink. Okay. 
like, that's what's going on here. You both did too many jokes about hugs. You both did too many jokes about bottoms. You should have coordinated. Sorry, I'm really Jewish. I had to do a lot of critical thinking with this. Um, Daryl, you had two underappreciated jokes. You did not appreciate this enough. Uh, the agree with the machine joke, Mwah! nectar of the gods, love that. The NWA joke, also really good, Andrew. I'm gonna say the potluck joke was my favorite of the set, and that's gonna give it to Andrew for me. Okay, Andrew's potluck, it's him a vote. Two. Yeah, I did. Right. Sasha, you're correct. These are uh, the same nigga, different complexions, is what. <laughs> So every time that they were talking to me, I'm like, are these, is this just schizophrenia right now? Are we just, <laughs> you need a hug, bitch, you need a hug as well. Do y'all just want a hug real quick right now? Do y'all just want to hug in? Yeah, yeah. Kiss, 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 <laughs> and, <laughs> and since they're the same person, that was just public masturbation that we all just watched. I, no, I will say that I loved the, uh, the potluck line was so fire. Um, but I also don't think that they know what NWA means. Uh, but that line deserved a lot more, uh, so I'm gonna give it to Andrew. I wanna give you the nigga points, but I gotta give it to Andrew. <laughs> Andrew wins it. Give it up for him. Here we go for Andrew. Winning it. I'm rock hard at that hug. I do want final thoughts from Kevin Keller. Oh my God, what do you guys think of that battle? Wasn't that something else? Yeah. Uh, I, I love that the, the two warring members of two different Weezer cover bands came here to be tonight. <laughs> So, Andrew's your winner. Give it up for her. Give it up for both of them. Give it up for Dan. Uh, start off the show. Give it up.